Okay. Oh, my camera must fine. It'll probably go in and out a little bit. Yeah, just leave it. I can keep going, moving myself. It's fine. Leave it alone. I have to move myself. Because this is the iPad. iPads do that. What do you mean? It does that for the camera. Leave it alone. Oh, I zoom out and Yeah. Why does it zoom down like that? Quiet. Mm. All right. Are we ready? Stop. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Is there an echo on here? It was an echo. Yeah. You good now? Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. So we finished the wilderness lessons. Yay! And we are into a new series. This is going to be in the New Testament, and it's about Mark's stories about Jesus's ministry. Oh. Yeah. So the next few yes. weeks of lessons is going to be stories about Jesus from the Gospel of Mark. So we got the five Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So we're going to be in Mark for the next few weeks. And these stories were originally written for the Gentile Christians, and they emphasized that Jesus is the perfect servant of the Lord, and he demonstrated that by his mighty acts and his death for our sins, right? So when you're talking about following Jesus, sometimes following Jesus means that you need to give things up. And right now we're actually, I'm going into something and I totally forgot about uh, prayer requests and scripture and prayer. I'm jumping to the whole beginning of the lesson over here. Oh my goodness, who's got prayer requests before we get into all that? Nobody? No. Uh, so so play by in this play by everybody in this house still. Everybody in this house. Okay. And keep Jim in your prayers, brother Jim, because he retired. He doesn't work here anymore. So um, what happened? He's just, he retired. He's what? like, he's like, when, when, he, when he tired, when? He retired at the end of March. Who, 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 who's doing it? Not, not you? No. Who's <laughs> I have doing enough that? to do. Who, who, who's, uh, who's we the, just, we have a couple different people helping, but we don't have a new person, so. Well, hope you guys look at new person soon. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, but keep him in prayer. I know he's okay. probably feeling weird not being here because he's been here for so many years. How many has he been in there? How many years? I think 30. 30 years? 30 years, yeah. Yeah, he tired last month. Yeah, he sure did. So, um, and just our church family, my family, all that good stuff. And faith and Faith and Angie, because you guys aren't feeling well, so, and John. Yeah. All right, so we're going to bring this up. And. All right, so Galatians 5.13 is our, okay, why is this? Hold on. There we go. All right, Galatians 5.13 is our scripture. And it's very simple one. Faith, go ahead and read it. Serve one another. Serve one another. It's as simple as that. So that's really going to be a lot of what our lesson is about today. Okay. So Lord's Prayer, John, you ready? Our Father, our Father in heaven, and our be your name, you come, will be done in hope in heaven. What else? Give us this we day. This day, our day of man. First passes. Uh huh. As we lead us against for evil, lead us not. But are they chastens? But deliver. Deliver us for evil. For thine. I the kingdom. Power. Power and the glory. Uh huh. Forever and ever. Forever, ever. Amen. Good job. 
Amen. All right. And okay, so James and John want greatness. So this is our first lesson. So as I was saying before, um, you know, sometimes following Jesus means you need to give some things up that you really enjoy. And we're going to hear today about, um, and you know, the reason that sometimes we have to give up things that we really enjoy is because they're not pleasing to God, right? Like, let's say someone really likes to go and gamble at the casino. Well, if they're going to follow God, they can't really be doing that kind of stuff, right? Because that's not serving people and it's not pleasant to God. So, um, or, you know, smoking or drinking or doing, you know, crime or, you know, there's things that are not pleasing to God. If you're going to follow the Lord, you're going to have to give those things up certain things you watch or listen to, um, certain things you say. So, you know, that when I'm talking about giving things up, it's something kind of like that, uh, which really compared to what you're getting is not a big deal at all, but sometimes it can be a little difficult. And so we're going to hear today how James and John wanted to be great and important, right? Does God want us to be totally full of ourselves? Hello? Yeah. He wants us to be full of ourselves? No. No, that's kind of like egotistical, right? Or um, what's the other word? Arrogant and God, you know, having a big ego. That's That's not what God wants us to be. And so they wanted to be great and important. And Jesus told them to give up power and glory to serve others, right? So they wanted it more about themselves. And Jesus was telling them that they need to serve others. So do you like to be served? Do you like when, when someone serves you? You know, like they bring you stuff or they do something for you, do something really nice for you? Do you like when people do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do you feel when other people serve you? Like if you're sick and your mom, you know, brings you food or, you know, does something nice for you. How does that make you feel? Good. Yeah. Feels good. Or if a friend gives you something or someone sends you a card or gives you a present, it makes you feel good. So they're serving you, you know, that's how other people feel when you do, when you serve them. So today our story, oh, hold on just one second. Yes. I'm in Bible study right now. That's okay. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was your pastor forgetting that it was Bible study time. So, um, so today our Bible story is going to be about a time when Jesus taught his followers to serve others. And so listen to hear how serving others is important to Jesus. It was then, it is now, and it's always going to be important to Jesus. So I'm going to read out of the book of Mark. The Gospel of Mark, which is in the New Testament. And it's just going to be about 10 verses. So we're going to be in Mark 10, verses 35 through 45. And it'll it'll go into a little bit of what I was talking about um, a minute ago, and then we'll kind of talk about it afterwards. So kind of listen to hear what all that meant. I don't know where John is, but we'll get through it. All right. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. They replied, let one of us sit at your right and the other at your left in your glory. You don't know what you're asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink or be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. 
but to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared. When the ten heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, You know that those who are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So there you have it. He's telling them if they want to be great, they have to serve others, right? So who were the ones that wanted to be great? Uh, who are we talking about? James and who? James. James and? John. Yeah. James and John. So what did Jesus say James and John should do to be great? Do you remember what he told them to do? Uh... Were they supposed to serve themselves? No. Who? What are they supposed to do? Get help. Mm, they're going to give help. So Jesus told James and John and actually all of his helpers to serve others, right? He told yeah. them if they wanted to be great. They had to serve others. So that really means you help others. Right. And so you take care of others before you take care of yourself. And you see that a lot with parents, teachers, you know, um, that, you know, we take care of everyone else before we take care of ourselves. And so that's that's really what it's talking about is making sure that you help other people before you help yourself. So are you ready to serve others? Do you feel like you do serve others sometimes? Yeah. You help. You help people, your friends, your your mom, your brother, um, neighbors. So we're gonna we're gonna get a little bit more into serving others and what that means. And we've talked about it before, but there's different ways that they talk about it throughout the Bible. And in this particular instance, the Lord is telling them to be great that they, you need to serve others and you need to serve others anyway. That's exactly what the Lord wants us to do. So we're going to get, do you guys have any questions or anything about that part? No, no questions. Ouch. No. Ow, ow, hold on. My hair's caught in my pen. Ow. What? The <laughs> All right, so we're going to get into this, and I don't know where we lost John to, but I'm sure he'll be back. Is that big enough? Yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead and read, Faith. James. James and John were brothers. They were Jesus. They were two. They were two of Jesus' disciples. They worked with Jesus for almost three years. James. And John learned many things from Jesus. They saw Jesus to do. They saw Jesus do many miracles. Miracles.
James. And? And John thought Jesus was great. They wanted to be great to James and John asked, Jesus, will you do something for us? What do you want me to do? Jesus answered, when you are king, will, let, will you let us be your there two most important helpers. James and John wanted everyone to know they were special and important to Jesus. Jesus told them, you do not know. You do not know what you are asking for. James and John did not understand Jesus would not be a king like the Roman king. He would not have money in large armies. Jesus would be a heavenly king. He would suffer and die to show how much he loved people. His helpers would suffer too. Jesus tried to explain this to James and John. They still wanted to be great and important. The other disciples were listening they got mad at James and John. Why should James and John be more important than any of them? Jesus called all his helpers together. He said, and the Romans kingdom, the rulers are powerful. They make people do whatever they want them to do. That is not the way for you if you want to be truly truly great you must serve others follow my example example I did not come to earth so other people can serve me. I come to serve others. I come to give my life for others. Good job. All right. So that kind of go, oops, goes into a little bit more of the serving that he was talking about. So they kind of were saying, you know, they wanted to make sure that everybody knew that they were great and important to Jesus, but really everybody is great and important to Jesus, right? And so a way to be really great is to serve others. So this says the secret to greatness. It says, use the code, write the correct letter in each blank. So the code, so when we see a one, we write an A. And when we see a two, we write an E. So let me grab this. So here we have a two. So we're going to put an E. John, are you still around? Nope. And we have a one. That's an A. 
And then, so great equals, what's this? Two is a B. And another E. Great equals serve. Great serve. Yep. So if you want to be great, what do you have to do? To be great, you need to what? Serve. Good. That's it. Okay, Serving Mrs. Jones is our story. I always think of Tanaya when we get to this part because this was always her part to read. All right, it says, Diane lives on a country road. The homes have lots of trees and big yards. Diane and her dog have fun playing in her yard. Diane loves her dog. Ooh, I love my dogs too. Diane also loves her neighbor, Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones is an old lady. She has a hard time walking. Mrs. Jones uses a walker. Mrs. Jones is kind to Diane. Diane and her dog often visit Mrs. Jones. On, oh, whoops, one rainy day, Diane saw Mrs. Jones walking to her mailbox. Mrs. Jones could not walk well in the rain. Her walker got stuck on the rocks and mud. Mrs. Jones needed help. Diane had an idea. Diane was going to serve Mrs. Jones. Diane went over, Diane, oh, Diane went over to Mrs. Jones' house. Diane said, Mrs. Jones, I want to pick up your mail. I will bring it to you every day. Thank you, Diane, Mrs. Jones said. I would like that very much. Diane was happy she could serve her friend. So even something simple like that, picking up someone's mail for them or their newspaper or whatever. I don't even know if people get newspapers anymore, but doing that kind of stuff. So tools for serving. So draw a circle around the tools you can use to serve others. Can you serve others with a washing machine? No. You don't think so? You like helping them wash their clothes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can absolutely. I don't know how you're supposed to circle that, but we'll do our best here. And how about cleaning for someone? Do you think that's yeah. okay for people? Yeah. I do too. cleaning supplies. Can you help someone with their gardening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Pulling weeds or planting seeds, watering, anything like that. How about helping someone with their recycle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are all great ways. Can you think of other ways to help someone? Uh, Maybe the garbage. the garbage, taking the garbage. Good. That's a good one. I just thought of helping someone carry their groceries inside. Um, helping by walking their dog or by taking care of their house when they're out of town. You know, there's lots of stuff you can do. Grabbing their mail, like we heard about in the story. So that is pretty much it. It was all about serving others to be great, right? That was pretty much our lesson for the day. That was a quick lesson. And yep, that's it. Where's John? I have no idea, but he missed out on the whole lesson, Mr. John Rucker. <laughs> Where are you? 
We're about to end, John. You got to come and help us pray. So what did, what was something you learned or remembered from tonight's lesson, Faith? Uh, helping people. Helping people. It's a good way of serving. Good job. That's exactly what it is. Mom. Helping. Mom. Selena's calling you. I know, I know. John, are you, can you hear me? Hello? John Rucker. John. <laughs> His door is open. Yeah, I see that. I wonder what he's doing. <sighs> John, come pray us out. Well, I don't know what he's doing. You want to pray us out, Faith? No. <laughs> no, not even a simple one? God, thank you for this day and this study. We'll serve more where we can. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Well, John, I hate to do this to you. You're going to come back and we're going to be gone. The lesson's <laughs> over. <laughs> He's going to come Mom, back I'm and think, where did everybody go? He didn't come back. <laughs> Are you uh, where you been, dude? <laughs> Pray without you. You're you're muted. We can't hear you. I was eating my dinner. Eating your dinner? You were supposed to be in Bible study. I was I was like eating my dinner watching with you and you. All right. Well, you want to do a quick pray us out since you missed everything else? Okay. All right. Pray for Jim. Pray for Jim for the years. Pray for Rio. Pray for Reverend Turner. Pray for Sam. Pray for Red Paul. Pray for Fanny. Pray for Tubby. Pray for uh, Hannah. Pray for Mom and Sissel. Okay, pray for this house. All day Friday. All day Saturday. Udi. 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 All power is hands. Amen. Amen to all power. Who we'll do right, next week? Guys, next week we will be in this in Mark again. So we'll, we'll okay. hear about all that too. All okay. right, you guys have a great week. Bye. Bye. We'll see you next Thursday.